Hello, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to another instalment of Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'm going to show you again uh, part of an extension of Inkscape which produces a wide variety of grids very quickly and easily. Instead of having to duplicate lines and drag them and produce grids from scratch, you can do it very, very quickly with this extension. So if I go to a blank page, I'll show you a few of those. Under Extensions, Render, and down to looking for grid, there it is, grids. Start with the Cartesian grid. And there are a variety of settings here, you know, major divisions, uh, minor divisions, how many minor divisions per major division, thickness of these divisions, all sorts of things. Just to leave it as it is and go apply, you can play around with these settings later on. I think I threatened to sing a song in the last tutorial. Perhaps I better actually do one this time to fill in this time. Close. And you can see, look away, there's quite a nice grid there, very accurate. You can save these Inkscape documents as PDF. You go Save As to find the PDF option. And you can produce your own graph paper, which is very, very handy. I'll just shrink that one down. Control Shift. Oops. Right, control shift and shrink it down. It's kept the strokes. If you think, gee, that looks a bit uh, big and buffy. If you turn off, actually go to select tool, yep. If you click this button here, scale the strokes so that they become thinner or thicker as well. Now if I do it, you see that's a bit sharper, so that might be an option when you're scaling grids. I'll just leave that mini version there and show you a couple of the others, extensions, render, grids, and just a general grid, very simple little one, click apply, close, click that, control shift, shrink it down a bit. I found with this one, when I was practicing for this tutorial, there's some lines that uh, you know, just finished here which is a bit, a bit annoying. One way around that, I shrink it down, is to click on the object and I'm not sure if I can click with the node, yeah, the nodes tool there and select. Oh, I have to click back on this, the object first with the select tool, then with the nodes tool, then select those nodes and you can move them back in. Hold down control, click off and fix that up. Likewise down here, if we zoom in a bit more, select tool, click on it, then the nodes tool, click and drag around all these nodes, hold down control and drag them back to there. And that uh, neatens up that, uh, that grid, that particular grid. Select tool again, I'll just scrunch it down that way and put it over here. Just to show you another one, extensions, you probably want to play around with this yourself now, but um, just to show you quickly, isometric grids, apply, very handy for isometric drawing. You must remember this, a kiss is just a kiss, a sigh, oh, thank goodness for that, close, and there we have an isometric grid. When I first did this, I thought, gee, it's shaded grey, but that's it's not. It's only because we've got fine subdivisions there, and I can change those settings in the options when I was creating the grid. So I'll just shrink that one down a bit. Put it there. And finally, I'll show you the extension under, under extensions, render, grids and a polar grid. This would be very handy for physics for a Snell's Law crack. I'll leave the settings as they are, but there are many, many you can play around with. Oh, perhaps you don't want to hear the rest of that song. Hurry up. And there we go. And that's a you know, beautiful graphic for, for minimal effort. That completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching and sorry about the scene.